Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and in this video I'm actually going to set the record straight. Is it $400 a week or is it $300 a week? There's been a lot of confusion and I believe this was actually clarified in one of my videos but I'm going to clarify it again so that all my viewers and subscribers are clear about this. I'm also going to answer a very very important question that was in the comments. Which wine am I drinking? It is a Roscaro. This is a sweet red wine from Georgia. It's from the country Georgia, not from, you know, not from our Georgia. I'll put it right there. And it's actually not very expensive. I got it from Wegmans. I believe it was under 15 bucks. So it's a, it's a very inexpensive and it's a sweet red wine. And it's something I enjoy at the end of the day. So now let's get down to business. So the extra $400 a week unemployment benefit extension, the White House actually changed their position on it since they, since they essentially launched it with the president's executive order and it and they said that the state match was optional so basically what happened was about a week ago the u.s department of labor sent a letter to state agencies giving them some guidelines about this about the whole lost wages assistance program but the most important paragraph said that eligible americans may only receive a lost wages assistance program of 300 dollars per week not the 400 dollars a week that president trump had sort of issued in his memorandum so there has been a lot of confusion about is it $400 a week or is it three, is it $300 a week? Again, the bottom line is the state match is optional. And even though the president announced that the lost wages assistance program would pay out $400 a week, it's very clear that the states would have had to include or chip in $100 a week. And he said, I'm taking action to provide an extra uh, $400 a week in expanded benefits. That's what the president has said. But the fact is that the White House offered multiple different interpretations of this in the following days. So uh, there was actually bipartisan blowback from, from both sides, from Republicans and Democrats to the uh, to the state mandated requirement of $100. So essentially what happened what happened was the White House changed and they evolved their position. So state budget shortfalls are expected to reach $555 billion according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities and many states said that funding the extra $100 was going to be impossible. So as a result the White House officials actually started tweaking the lost wages assistance program. And just a few days ago, the White House National Economic Director Larry Kudlow suggested, he actually said that in an interview, that the states would not have to put up incremental funds in order for unemployed Americans to get the $300 weekly benefit. He said, and I quote, we modified slightly the mechanics of the deal. That doesn't seem like a slight modification to me, but never mind. And uh, by Tuesday evening, at least five con contradictory versions. This is a few days ago. There were multiple contradictory versions of what was sort of what 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 states had to do from from uh, as far as the White House's position was concerned. And basically, again, there was a lot of confusion. And for individuals who had not received any federal unemployment benefits for almost three weeks as well as states who had to who expected to now say stand up and administer the lost wages assistance program this was an extremely frustrating time so what happened was the department of labor did end up providing specific guidelines on how the lost wages assistance program would work and it said it would help states with technical assistance to administer the program and so basically what happened was the department of labor announced that it, it the, that they, in a memorandum that states would be relieved of the obligation to provide an, an incremental $100 in unemployment benefits in order to receive the $300 federal contribution. And I'm, I'm reading a letter now from the U.S. Department of Labor. It says, and I quote, states may count funds that are already used to provide regular state UI payments toward the state match. So in other words, it's not the state payment plus the $100, which by the way was exactly what the president implied in his press briefing and in the executive order. But since then, now the new, now the new guideline is, uh, the new evolved position is states may count funds that are already used to provide regular state UI payments toward the state match. If they choose to do so, eligible claimants will receive an LWA, a lost wages assistance payment of $300 from the federal government in addition to their weekly benefit amount. So this was a letter from the U.S. Department of Labor and the letter also noted that states may meet the $100 per week state match with the regular payments and it acknowledges that if states do go down this route, I quote, eligible claimants will only receive an LWA payment of $300 in addition to their weekly benefit amount. Now, I have done another video where I went into a lot more detail about which states are adopting the program, which states have applied. 
at the point at the time I'm recording this video we have 10 states that are approved and over 10 states that are pending right now and there are only a small number of states that will pay the full $400 in fact it's just four states that will pay the full $400 most of the other states across the country have either not applied or if they've applied they said yep you know we're just going to give you three hundred dollars because that's all that's all we can do we don't have the extra hundred dollars either because they ran out of the money or because the money has already been earmarked for the expenses you you have to take into consideration my viewers and subscribers that states have to spend money on k-12 through education they have to spend money on all sorts of services they have to spend money on health care they have to spend money on all sorts of facilities to the seniors and disabled so the unemployment insurance payment is one of many 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 expenses that states have i have done another video i do think it's important for us to understand how states allocate their money so i have done another video on how states allocate money how states get money and spend money so you want to check that out i've also done another video on how the federal government gets money and spends money in case you're a nerd like me and you want to get into stuff like that but i think it is important to understand that the state has many other expenses so in short the department of labor made it clear that states could provide the hundred dollars in incremental funds but that it is not mandatory in reality this means that most individuals should only expect about three hundred dollars in uh, per week per, for for the duration of the lost wages assistance program and not count on not depend on the extra hundred dollars from states given the state's budgetary problems so uh, from uh, according to uh, jack brewster from forbes no state has well i take that back three states have said that they will that they will pay the extra hundred dollars so that's where things stand right now and or just to just to, so that my viewers and subscribers know at the time i'm recording this three states intend to pay the entire 400 dollars in weekly unemployment benefits not 400 dollars i have covered that uh, in other videos as well so this was all like i said as a result of all the bipartisan of all the bipartisan uh, problems that that existed or that arose as a result of the implementation of this just to be clear some states have actually declined aid a few states like south dakota and new york New York have declined to participate, turning down the extra federal unemployment benefits. South Dakota governor uh, issued a statement last week declining to participate in the LWA program. My administration is, this is what the South Dakota governor said, my administration is very grateful for the additional flexibility that this effort would have provided, but South Dakota is in the fortunate position of not needing to accept it. South Dakota's economy having never been shut down has recovered nearly 80 percent of our job losses like i mentioned other states have submitted have uh, submitted the applications and three states aim to provide workers with the full 400 dollar benefits one state considered 400 dollars one other state but they ultimately settled on 300 dollars so we have montana which is going to be paying the full 400 dollars montana actually was the eighth state to receive approval it's it plans to pay the full 400 dollars and unemployment payments will range from six uh, from 560 to 950 dollars according to the associated press in west virginia they also plan to contribute the extra 100 dollars and pay unemployed workers the full 400 dollar weekly benefit governor jim justice said west virginia is going to pay it we're gonna we're going to pay it and very willingly we're going to pay it and uh, West Virginia, that's basically what West Virginia is doing. And Governor Justice indicated that paying the extra hundred dollars per week would cost the state 26 million a week. But uh, he said at the end of the day, we'll figure it out in Kentucky. On uh, just a couple of days ago, Governor Andy Bashir announced his intention to submit an application for the full $400 a week. And he said, while there's still some uncertainty in this new program, it's just too important to get these dollars out to families. And uh, when he was asked why he decided to use state funds and provide the full $400 a week, in other words, do we have the money? He said the $100 was critically important for recipients. And he said, we know how this money moves through the economy. So basically, that's what's happening in the state of Kentucky. Now, North Carolina actually considered $400. But it's interesting to note that they settled at $300 because they have some of the worst jobless benefits or some of the, I should say, lowest payouts amongst all states. They provide benefits for only 12 weeks in most cases instead of the 26 weeks that other states allocate. So Governor Roy Cooper said that he supported North Carolina providing an extra $100 so that the unemployed workers would receive the full uh, would receive the full $400 a week. However, State Senator Chuck Edwards, who co-chairs the General uh, the General Assembly's Joint Legislative Oversight, uh, basically wasn't too enthusiastic about paying the full $400. So, uh, on just yesterday, North Carolina's Division of Unemployment Security, that's DES, announced that it would only be paying the $300 federal unemployment benefit. They made the decision after learning the money from the state's unemployment insurance fund uh, could not be used to pay the extra $100 state match. So, basically, here's the bottom line. Most states applying for funding under the enhanced uh, unemployment benefit program are only paying the $300 
federal contribution. So for all intents and purposes, we can refer to it as a $300 a week program instead of the $400 a week program. A few states have declined to participate altogether, but Montana, West Virginia and Kentucky are going uh, you know, going the distance and paying the full $400. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. If you learn something new, please consider clicking like, please subscribe, please enable notifications so you get instant updates from us going forward. I really appreciate you watching. If you don't know anything about me, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda. I live the American dream. I've had the fortune, the honor, the privilege of essentially building my own American success story. And I want to do the same for you. I'm hoping to guide you, to lead you forward. If you want to get alerts from us, get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000, that's 70000, and you'll get instant alerts from us going forward. You can also get added to our email list and you can opt out of the SMS list or the email list at any point in time. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.